Oh. Oh, no! oh, come on! Maybe just one of you should do it. I agree. She's a little pitchy. No one has since come. Welcome to Frozen 2, where it starts out with Anna and Elsa as little kitties and their dad telling them a bedtime story about a magical forest with four spirits. You got air, fire, water, earth, and this is gonna be one of them stories where you gotta do something with all four elemental spirits and shit. And some avatar crap. Okay, cool. And he proceeds to tell them the story of the people that lived in this forest called the Neanderthal people or North Aldrin, something like that. Okay? And they are not magical, but according to him, they just took advantage of the forest's gifts. So they're fucking freeloaders. And the king of Ares Gate at the time, which is their grandpa built them a dam as a gift to strengthen their waters or something okay and the little king who's king now new king went there to see this gift and the celebration that they're gonna make for this gift and over there he witnessed some of his forest spirits doing the doing the thing you know and i'm fairly certain from his tone that the air is gays are gonna end up fighting the neanderthal people yep there they go and uh, you know because both sides are retarded the spirits get mad and they lock off the entire forest in this fog of war that no one can exit or enter into you know the forest but not before he escapes with the help of this forest spirit voice thing then he came back as king end of story and anna goes holy shit that, that was epic and they asked their mother questions about the story because they're curious little fucks and she responds with only auntie helen knows wait that can't be right oh yeah only Atta Holland knows and apparently it's a river and maybe also a place that holds all the secrets and answers to the past then through song we transition to queen elsa now time all right and she gets startled by this royal dude to attend to her royal duties why didn't this bimbo bitch just unfreeze her hands? Didn't you unfreeze an entire fucking kingdom last movie? Dumbass. Doesn't matter, we move on to modern day Anna and Olaf, who's having an existential crisis because, well, naturally, he's a, as far as I can tell, a non-aging, living, non-melting snowman. Naturally, that's what's gonna happen. But in other news, he's still savage as fuck. I can't wait until I'm aged like you so I don't have to worry about importance. <laughs> Then we transition to them playing Pictionary. I know it's not called that, but I forgot its actual name, so I digress. They play in Anna sucks, Olaf kills it, Elsa also sucks, but gets distracted by this voice only she can hear. Then she heads off to bed while Anna is concerned for her, and Kristoff tries to propose to Anna, but she distracted like her word was ice, and bitch couldn't act it out. Why didn't she just point at Olaf? He's basically ice. That's cheating. Shut up, white boy. So she goes to see what's up with Elsa, and she's scared that she's gonna mess things up for the kingdom and stuff, and Anna's like, You're doing great. When are you going to see yourself the way I see you? Probably when they invent cameras and Photoshop. Hey, don't sass me, bitch. I'm trying to be nice here. Now, come on. Let's call me lesbians. So they coodle and fall asleep. And Elsa is woken up by the voice again. So she walks around and calls it a hoe. She wasn't imitating it or singing here. Now nah, she was calling it a hoe and you can't change my mind. Then she sings a bit and magical stuff happens. And she goes on top of this cliff and lets out a big... Then these magical crystals appear all over the place, all over the kingdom, like a lot, okay? And they have these elemental fire, air, earth, wind symbols on them. Water, not wind. I already said air. What the fuck? No, okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Point is, these crystals all appear, then someone throws a really big flashbang, and something happens, and then the crystals all fall down, but none of them fall on their head and injure her, because she's conveniently standing in the only place where the, none of the crystals would fall. Amazing. The wind goes nuts, the fire disappears, so does the water, which prompts Elsa to go, oh no, the earth is next. Get everyone to the cliffs. I don't know how this is going to be safer because last i checked cliffs are also made of earth but whatever the cliffs are fine and they all run away from the kingdom to the cliffs because it's being flash remodeled so now they're all safe and elsa tells anna about the voices she's here and anna goes damn it elsa why you off your meds and she also tells her that she thinks she awoke the spirits of the enchanted forest no biggie <laughs> then the stone trolls roll up and the old troll goes all right let's see what we got this time all right the past is not what it seems and wrong demands to be righted what does that mean i know i don't speak fairy tale. what do you mean you're a little magical troll silence thought so they decide to to go to the magical forest and find the voice and cut out its vocal cords. And on the way, Kristoff fails terribly at proposing again. Then Elsa hears the magical voice and they see the fog of war. Elsa parts the seas and go through the fog and the fog starts pushing them in and blocks them inside. They can't get out anymore. Then Anna and Kristoff find the dam and yet another time he fails at proposing and kind of makes her think that they're breaking up. Uh, it's not really his fault because she keeps interrupting through his whole proposal thing but there's a very simple solution you are not seeing here, my dear retard. Whenever someone starts interrupting you and overthinking like that, here's what you do. I'll <laughs> Shut up. 
See what I did there? Moving on. Olaf gets lost and these leaves are colored differently, which means something's gonna happen to them. Yep, there they go. Easy prediction. So the spirits keep fucking with Olaf, throwing him around, tossing him all over the place, scaring him. Then he gets sucked up into a tornado and so do the rest of them, but they get all sp- They get all? They get all. Yeah, grammar. I can grammar. They all get spit out, apart from Elsa, because she's magic and the tornado turns into this Valorant air ball thing, and she tries to fight it off using freeze. Meanwhile, Anna keeps going closer to the thing, like, no, my sister, don't go closer, you dumb overblown hemorrhoid. What the fuck is wrong with you? Don't you remember the first movie where you almost died on two separate occasions because of this crap? Oh, whatever. Elsa does this big whoosh thing, and ice sculptures appear, and Olaf gives them this woke theory. My theory about advancing technologies is both our savior and our doom? He's not wrong, you know. Then he tells him about another theory where water has memory and these ice sculptures must be memories Elsa froze out of the moisture in the wind or something like that right then the wind comes back except it's friendly now so Olaf calls it Gary or Gil Glenn is it I don't know it's something with a G JK he names a Gale, which is an unimportant detail I don't know why I mentioned it I could have just left it out but anyway I want to pause here for a second because I want to make a few predictions about this movie and its events okay you see I'm guessing that they're gonna have to tame and befriend all the other spirits in this movie all the other forest spirits to complete some sort of fucking quest some shit and that the person that saved their dad in this memory right here is their mom and that the Ares gay people actually attack the Neanderthal people not the other way around and they're the one that created the fucking problemo right and that's what needs to be fixed here just a wild guess I know wow this is a complete shot in the dark here. Now let's continue. They hear some whores. Whores. They don't hear whores. They hear some horns and some North Aldrin people and some air and aliens come to attack them. So Elsa does some crowd control. Turns out they've been stuck in here in the forest for years, coexisting, although they hate each other. I don't know why the Ares gays haven't been completely wiped out yet. There's like five of them left. But anyway, Olaf gives a better recap of the first movie than I did. Well, at least they have their parents. Their parents are dead. <laughs> I'm being outdone by a bloody snowman, jeez. Anywho, both sides are now up to speed on this whole kerfuffle. And then the fire spirit comes along and creates a modern day gender reveal. And Elsa starts putting out the fire because only she can prevent forest fires. Kristoff and Sven save a bunch of reindeer and Anna while Elsa chases down the fire spirit and corners it to find out it's a tiny flaming gecko. Gecko, 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 gecko. And all he wants to do is cool down a bit so she makes him some ice and he cools down so she befriends slash tames him. See that? Taming the spirits. I guess his name is Geico and he helps him save on car insurance too. After that, Anna gets scared so Elsa. Elsa pulls their mom's scarf out of her ass and covers her with it and the North Aldrin people go holy shit bro that's Neanderthal scarf bro dang man limited edition too bro that's gnarly man then they go back to the ice memories and figure out that this girl is their mom incredible who the thought then the Neanderthals go we are called North Aldra. we are the people of the sun wait I thought you were the people of the forest what the heck also if you're not gonna be the people of the forest you're called North Aldrins then you're supposed to be the people of the north what whatever Elsa gives them a big dick promise of freeing them from the forest then they say up camp for the night because earth giants roam around the night and it's not very sif and Elsa finds out from this lady that there's a fifth spirit and figures out that the voice might be coming from that fifth spirit and she needs to go to auntie helen to figure out what the fuck the spirit wants like what's up bitch what's good and then some earth giants come very close to their camp so they shut off all the lights on the fire and stuff to be safe and Elsa decides to follow the earth giants and Anna decides to tag along but Kristoff and Sven have left because fuck Anna I guess but that's what she thinks since she gets the Presso because of that, but actually, Kristoff and Sven went to make this grand old proposal with a bunch of reindeer and this retard, which took the whole night to do, but you know, they left, so fuck him. By the way, I kind of have a suspicion that Kristoff is part North Aldrin, but that's just a theory. A gay theory. Anyway, back to Olaf, Ginger, and Snowcone. They find their parents' ship and they get to the medieval equivalent of the ship's black box and find out that they were going north across the Dark Sea to Atahalin to find the source of Elsa's power. Then Elsa uses the water in the wood to make another ice sculpture memory thing and gets Banjo Depresso Kazooie. Like, I'm the reason my parents died, I don't know. Then after a small discussion with Anna, they decide to go to Auntie Helen to find out the truth together but Elsa, Chicklet, McNuggets, Camboozles, Anna and Olaf a way to keep them safe. I'm just having a blast making up random crap for these shitty videos. By the way, I was half right on how Elsa got her powers. Their dad did not have a frostbitten penis but he did stick his dick in some magical coochie. So magical genitalia was involved. Anyway, Elsa sends off Anna and Olaf away on a tiny boat and they try to course correct but end up in a river with a bunch of sleeping earth giants so they course correct again into a uh, scave and get lost. But fuck them for a second let's go back to Elsa because right now she's doing some dumb shit. Okay, real pumpkin spice latte 
white crap shit. She finna go full track and field title Jesus on the water, trying to run across it to go to Atahan. And I once again would like to remind you of the first movie where she literally froze the entire fucking ocean and built a giant ice castle in a matter of seconds. Why can't you just make a big boat or like maybe a, a small bubble that goes through the waves underwater and propel yourself to a parachute of ice to Walter Holland. And if that doesn't work because the sea's too rough, then just make a mile high bridge so the waves can't reach you and just go across it to Walter Holland or a frozen zone glide your way over there. Once again, I'm not saying that this is all gonna work 100%. I'm just saying there's a lot of shit you could go through in your process before trying to run across the fucking sea. It's fucking dumb broad. All right, whatever. She goes at it and obviously is not faring off too well here because duh, it's tough. Then sees a water horse, okay, not a sea horse, a water horse because this is the spirit of the water and she fights it off a bit makes it into ice and then it does a like snowflake thing but then after a bit more fighty mcbuddy and dragging mcslaggy she does this whole like um lasso thing you know horse riding lasso thing i don't know what it's called i'm not a posh cunt i'm a regular cunt anyway she tames it and rides it across the sea to superman's fortress of solitude which is at holland and she gets there goes inside and sees a bunch of ice sculpture memories uh, one of which being one where her grandpa planned to betray the neanderthal people just incredible unbelievable twist right here unforeseen shit and also i want to point out that this dickhead legit took his son to a place where he knowingly was going to start a war. Best dad ever. Then she goes down this fucking hole uh, to find more proof that he's a dickhead. But oddly enough, she starts freezing. So right before she freezes completely, she sends out an uh, SOS snow flare message to Anna. Man freezes. And the message gets to traps Elsa and Olaf. It's an ice memory of Pops being a cunt. So she goes like, oh no, we're the bad guys. What? And figures out that the dam he built sucks and actually harmed the forest people, making their spirits weaker or messing up their mojo or something like that. So she figures they have to destroy it to undo the wrong that they did. However, if they destroy the dam, it will send a like a big tidal wave that will probably destroy the entire kingdom of uh, what? What's it? I, for I forgot my made-up name and the actual name of the oh my god, the air's gaze thing, Arendelle. Yeah, that. F so the war will probably destroy Arendelle, but she's like, whatever, no one's there anyway, so fuck it. Then Olaf kind of disintegrates, and they figure out that Elsa is probably in deep shit right now, and so Olaf dies, and Anna cries a bit, then she perks up and finds an exit and goes, Lara Croft! Parkours her way out of there. <laughs> then she looks at them and goes, damn. <laughs> and then she looks at... <laughs> And then she looks at the earth monsters, goes like, oh, I'm gonna piss them off, because she wants to lower them over to the dam so they can destroy it for her, but she sucks at running, so Kristoff shows up, because he's just fucking uh, wandering around aimlessly around the forest, so he picks her up, and they all run over to the dam, and she goes up there, and then the air is gay soldiers are like, the fuck you doing, girl? We have to break the dam, it's the only way to lift the mist and fix our rog and free you guys, but Airedale will go to shit. Whatever, bro, my kingdom, my rules, now fuck off and make some noise. So they do that, and give the giants a nice big target to throw boulders at, and Anna stands in the middle of the fucking dam to give her herself zero chance of escaping when the thing goes down real smart shit right there but obviously through the power of disney fuck Tuckery, she lives the giants destroy the dam and a bunch of shit happens one big tidal wave two elsa gets unfrozen three water pony saves elsa four water pony elsa go <coughs> over to the kingdom and with a mixture of her ice powers and the water horse's water powers they make a big wall and stop the water from destroying the kingdom which gets me to thinking right if the dam was Lord, the dam isn't strengthening our waters it's hurting the forest it's cutting off the north which i interpret as messing with the spirit's groove you know the fucking with the moxie making them sad and pissed off which i believe that they knew that the dam was bullshit and the reason of their messed up moxie then why didn't the spirits just break it from the get-go they basically broke it now fucking dumbass spirits whatever though kingdom is saved hip hip hooray the fifth spirit turns out to be Elsa somehow Olaf comes back to life Kristoff finally proposes Elsa makes Anna the queen while she goes to live in the forest and make YouTube videos about how to make uh, secret underwater pools and what is this crazy magic called again? a photograph I literally called it. I predicted the invention of the camera in this movie I'm a genius then Anna sends Elsa an air letter with the help of Gail that reads Charades Friday night. And I remember it's called Charades, not Pictionary. So as it turns out, I'm the dumbest hoe there is. This movie gets 12 Pictionaries out of 10 Dictionaries. 